We all love the underdog story, from seeing small teams win big titles to seeing Cinderella stories throughout Champions League and league campaigns. This sort of event is what football is all about. Leicester City is one of the best examples, a side who were once promoted to the Premier League as relegation favorites, avoided relegation, and won the Premier League out of nowhere. Their fortunes didn't end there, however, as they now constantly compete for the top four and have most recently beaten Chelsea to an FA Cup final victory. Another team that is very good at that is Atalanta of Italy, a team that used to scrape the bottom of the barrel a couple seasons ago and now compete in the highest level. Currently have a chance of winning their first Coppa Italia since 1963 against Juventus. They also constantly compete in the Champions League ahead of the likes of AC Milan and Napoli. Because of their small team status, these underdog sides usually get pickpocketed the following season by the big dogs. The smaller teams usually don't replace their best players properly and it becomes a problem for them. This is exactly what happened to Club Deportivo Leganes. Leganes got their first promotion to the La Liga in 2016 and maintained themselves in the league for the next four years. However, during the 2019-2020 season, they were struggling even more than usual. They were lying the bottom tier of the table but could have avoided relegation thanks to their star man, Martin Braithwaite. The Danish center forward was one of the few hopes that Leganes had of staying in the division. He was doing what he was bought to do, score goals. However, the unthinkable happened. Due to a season-ending injury to Usman Dembele at Barcelona, Barcelona activated the release clause of Martin Braithwaite outside of the transfer window and the Danish striker didn't even think twice about staying. This left a gaping hole in the Leganes attack. As they were not allowed to replace their star man, the club finished in 18th position and was eventually relegated. The fans were heartbroken. In June 2020, Maria Victoria Pavon, the club's president, decided that the club needed a complete new makeover. She felt that the club was completely disorganized and she decided that she needed to create a proper project that will see her side compete in the highest level. She has seen the likes of Leicester City, RB Leipzig, Atalanta, and etc. Sides with little to no money and improvements just through scouting and she believes with the right appointments, Leganes can be in the European talk in four years time. One of the main flaws that she has stated that she has suffered recently was that the fact that there was an inconsistency when it came to appointing managers. Last season, Leganes had three different managers and right now, they have no one. There were three targets that she saw that could lead her project. The first person was former Liverpool, Real Madrid, and Spain international, Xabi Alonso. An up-and-coming coach, talented to be a really good manager in the future, and he's Spanish, which is always a plus. However, the former Spanish man has just recently signed with German outfits Hertha Berlin in an attempt to make them a prominent side in Germany. The next manager that was touted is also former Spanish midfielder and former Barcelona midfielder, Xavi Hernandez. Xavi has just won the Qatari Super League with Al Saad and playing some eye-catching football and tiki-taka, catching the eyes of the top, top clubs. Because of that, sides like Barcelona are very interested in bringing the Spaniard to the Camp Nou in the next season or two, and he decided to reject Leganes in favor to stay in outside in an attempt to win the AFC Champions League. The last manager in discussion was a man who had not managed football in a very long time, has never actually managed in Spain, but was very linked with moves to Spain during his time at management, and that is Arsene Wenger. It was a very difficult task to convince the former Arsenal manager to leave his post on FIFA to manage the second division Spanish side, but what was very tempting to him was the fact that in the end of the tunnel for this project led the European glory, which Wenger has never won himself. Arsene Wenger won the Premier League three times and the FA Cup seven times meaning domestically he's a top-notch manager. However, in the European stage, he's fallen short, with Wenger's closest leg to a Champions League trophy being cut off by a semi Etel equalizer, a Giuliano Belletti winner, and a Jens Leon sending off, stopping Arsenal from winning the Champions League. This is a common denominator when it comes to the hates for Barcelona between Wenger and Leganes. But with this project, the 71-year-old was very tempted to join in an attempt to win some European silverware. Wenger plays some electrifying football at times, and Leganes would love to see that at their home stadium, the Estadio Municipal Butarque. Not only that, but Wenger is also very good at spotting young talents across Europe and making them superstars. This is the way that Maria Victoria Pavon would like to see her side go full. MVP wasn't done there. She was also interested in bringing a proper sports director and promoting the former director, Aaron Boninsenia, into the head of finance department. MVP is closing down on bringing in former Roma club director and Roma legend, Francesco Totti. Totti was obviously a legend to AS Roma, however, left his role as a club director as he felt he wasn't being involved during the club decisions and was just there to please the fans. MVP is trying her best to bring the Roma legend to Spain. And lastly, MVP made a signing that had some Leganets fans confused. She signed 19-year-old Eduardo from Twitter as a scout for the club. Dutch Leyen is a huge CD Leganets fan and would love the opportunity to work for the club. And a fun fact, Eduardo is also a model so scouting is his full-time job.
MVP wants good players and young players playing around this newly scouted and touted 17 year old youth product from the youth academy known as the next Moroccan Ozo and the next Hakim Ziyech. With these appointments made by MVP, Shijim Zaganets will be playing the top leagues once again, playing some electrifying football and winning countless trophies. Let's get this story started. What is up guys, Bryza here and welcome to the new Master League series that we're doing on this channel. Today, we have Arsene Wenger as the new head coach for Club Deportivo Leganes. Thank you guys for the votes, it was a really close one. To be honest, let me tell you the, the, the rundown of what happened. So, Leganes was really close, it was, they were leading by a while and then the United really just came in out of nowhere on Sunday morning. I checked the results and Dundee United was winning. I was like, oh, wait a second, Dundee United is winning? I was like, that is insane. And then I slept it off. I said, guys, make sure you guys vote before the thing ends because I wanted to make sure that everybody got their votes in. I had a good amount of votes. And then I went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and looking at this one just by, just by a little bit. They were like 4%. It was majority, the most of the voters voted for either Leganes or then the United and then the third place was Algier with a couple of votes and nobody voted for Regina, actually not one person voted for Regina, I was like very surprised. So yeah, that's happening. We're going to pick Arsene Wenger, we're going to disable the first transfer window for this weekly uh, weekly salary and we're gonna make the games 11 minutes and then uh, I guess we can make the, the currency euro since we're in, gonna be in the UK and yeah let's get this safe started and here it is Arsene Wenger as the new manager of Leganes and the new sports club director Francesco Totti these two men will be the men that will lead Leganes back into the first divisions and also maybe win some European competitions with them. Arsene Wenger never won a European competition himself. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what this man has planned. What did you do to your hair? Arsene Wenger's like, what did you do to your hair? Good young players on the side. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna, there's no first transfer window, so everything's gonna be straight. We're gonna play with these players for the first couple of games. This episode, we're gonna run down, give a rundown on what's going on and you know, play. If you guys enjoyed the series, if you're new to the channel, leave a like and subscribe. No, we want to have a little bit of the rundown season objectives. Saying goals, we're going to be setting our own goals in this one also. So, this is going to be some new stuff going on. I'll let you guys know in a bit. Arthur Wenger, I'd like to discuss the season objectives. Okay, Spitz. This club is done languishing in the lower division. I want you to do whatever it takes to get us in the Dalí Liga something there this season. Sounds good to you? That was the plan, my guy. That was the plan. Yes, uh, we'll also bring home the league title. I don't really care about the league title. We'll get promoted. Our goal, as always, is to be promoted, but I'm not concerned if we don't grab the title crown. Let's just make sure we go up. Totti is like, that settles it then. As long as you're on board and I feel confident that this will work. Okay, let's see what this other guy said. He said, we're on the same mind. All right, cool. <laughs> so we're gonna meet the press and oh yeah, I don't have any of the, the background sponsors. I haven't found a mod for it yet. It's pretty, actually pretty difficult. But I'll, I'll get it sorted out for like I mean, I don't know about the other teams though. Arsene Wenger is sitting down in the chair, being asked the first questions. Congratulations on becoming manager. What's your plan for the team? Are you going to introduce your preferred system right away or stick with what the team is used to? Um, you know, a little bit of both. We need to start a good balance. It's a great honor to be given such an opportunity and I'd like to thank everyone for making this happen. My philosophy is that balance must be maintained and I want to keep that works and put my own stamp on what does it. Some words that the fans like to hear. Fans are excited to hear and see how Arthur Wenger does in the dugout. What style of soccer do you want to play this season? Arthur Wenger was really more... Uh, I, yeah, he was a more of a showman. Arsenal played some phenomenal football at times. 
you can blame people for wanting to see results, but I'm of the opinion that putting a good show is it just as important as winning. If you're going to win, make sure you win in style. That's the type of soccer the fans want to see, and that's what I am to show them. Sorry for my Wenger impersonation. If you guys want me to keep it, just let me know in the comments. If you don't, yeah, I'll stop it. <laughs> and he's done with the press conference, Arthur Wenger and Donny Pleasance leading them out. And welcome, look at this computer version of the game, all the mods and everything. The game looks smooth. Some training regimes, all that stuff. Let's see how much money they give us. 11 mid G's. <laughs> wow. All right, so let's go to the game plan. Actually, funny thing about this, I actually saw a, somebody that made a actually whole play style on how Arsene Wenger, like, his tactics during the 2003-2004 Invincible season. That's arguably his best, if not arguably, but that's his best season ever. Undefeated, he won 26 games, drew 12, and lost zero. So we're gonna try to mimic, mimic that. And thanks to uh, AMR Rita, he's the dude that made this uh, this post on Reddit. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. And uh, let's see how he plays. All right, so the team spirit is 49. Jeez, let me see if I can find a different captain. Maybe that could make the team better. But then a lot of people are playing out of position, so oh, this guy's old. I know. Okay, I'm making my captain. All right, so team spirit 59, 49. Sorry, but I got Vinger's tactics. Kind of a mixture between what I thought and what um, Spoonie Pizza did in his video, and also from the post I was talking about earlier. So when it comes to the formation, like I said before, we're going to do a 4-2-3-1. Um, and then when we attack, we'll go to a 4-3-3. And then we on defense, we'll go to a 4-5-1. What else do we do? Attacking instructions, we're going to have counter target, short passing. You know, Wenger used to like short pass the way to the goal. Uh, everything was through the center, mainly through the center. I think most recently, everything kind of started becoming more wide. Uh, we maintain the formation, support range is, I guess, uh, uh, I guess medium. Frontline pressure, containment error, we're going to be going center, the aggressive pressure. Um, yeah, when Arsenal, Arsenal played back in the 2000s, they used to press all the time. I don't know, that went away towards Arsenal against the end. Defensive line is going to be the middle, compactness is going to be a little bit wide, and that's it. And then the front, uh, defense structure, we're going to have attacking fullbacks. Um, like I said, he used to do that mainly towards the end of his the Emirates time. When it was Highbury, it was really more Ashley Young going forward. Uh, Lauren could go forward here and there, but he didn't go as far up as Ashley Young used to do. Um, Tiki Taka, because you know, he's trying to play a Vengo ball, so you know, quick passing. I think positioning will be key for that. And uh, counter target would be De La Fuente. He is uh, our striker, and I don't know what basically a counter target. If you hit them on the counter, he was usually the last man behind the, the defender, so he's going to be the counter target for this. Speed isn't the best, and obviously, these won't be our main players for now. I'm gonna wait till the winter window comes around to see who we can sign. But yeah, this will basically be it for this. Let's actually let's change the lineup. Let's change. Just get trying to get a, the best players in there. All right, so this is the change lineup. I don't know if it does did much, but this is how we're gonna be playing for the rest of the season. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. The FIFA national team squad announcement. Uh, Arsene Wenger talking to the captain. I think that's the goalkeeper. Kenneth Onewu got called for the national team, um, and obviously we have our youth player, our first original player, Hakim Sanchez, uh, the Moroccan, will be signed, and he will be promoted to the first team. Welcome. He's the youth product that MVP was talking about. She wants us to use him and nurture him into a great player. So our first game of this episode will be against the. Uh, Albacete. And here he is, Hakim Sanchez being shown around by uh, Francesco Tati and Donny Pleasance, the big white guy next to him. Arsa Wenger shaking hands with uh, the young lad that has been promoted from the Youth Academy. I don't know why he's wearing a suit and everything, but uh, <laughs> big game today, <laughs> big game today. League season opener, let's see. I got a text man, let's see if they said anything about that. Will you be using ha new signing Hakim Sanchez in the opening match? Um, I haven't decided yet. The first match of any season is always important, but I prefer not to be bogged down in who's won my team sheets. Any player on the squad has a chance to start. Wise words there from Arsene Wenger. 
as the second division La Liga is going to start very, very soon. The first signing, even though it's not really a signing. Get to the club, let's change his number. All right, first game against uh, Albacete. And Arsene Wenger is going to have a team talk, is he? He's saying, Albacete, lo bono per tough side, but that's no reason to fear them. The fans will be giving it their all, and let me not do this. <laughs> They're all today, so let's do the same. It's our first time appearing before the home crowd this season, so whatever you do, make this match worthy to the fans. And remember, make them play at our pace. Big game against Leganes. Oh my, I'm so excited to play it on the computer. But before we do this, I want to let you guys know something real quick uh, before we start this match. Press conference questions are coming back. I mean, of course, I didn't do one today because, you know, this is new, but. Next episode, drop your press conference questions. Use the hashtag um, AskVenger. Um, I, mean, I might change the hashtag. I don't know. I'll put it in the screen, but use that hashtag for your Ask Carlos. What? Ask Carlos. Your, your press conference questions. And uh, also going to have objectives. So if you have any objective suggestions, drop it in the comments down below. Um, I'm thinking of some myself. So we're going to have like some objectives like... Uh, play this guy a certain amount of games and all that stuff and yada 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 and the last thing we're going to do is something that I, is pretty interesting is uh the signings when it comes to signing players so obviously we don't have a transfer window right now but we do have we're going to have regulations for signings we're, we're going to we can sign anybody we want we're going to follow the spanish rule so we can only have five non-eu players in our squad and right now we have seven and eight so we have eight players some of them are obviously like uh you know dual citizenship so i'm gonna make uh hakim Sanchez dual citizenship he's gonna be half spanish half um moroccan but some of these players are not half citizenship so we can't we can't really use them so i'm trying to make, make it like that realistic also have a certain amount of homegrown players i'll look into it the next episode but yeah and those are gonna be the things that we're gonna be focusing on the next episode uh, as well as the games so yeah so anyways, let's get this game. First game away. Arsenal Wenger's opening game. Everybody's on terrible. Jesus Christ. Hakim Sanchez is going to have to start. Wow. Okay. So opening game of the season against Albacete Balompi. Arsenal Wenger against Menendez, the manager. I don't know if that's even him or if he's a real manager or not. But uh, it's going to be a tough game. Let's try to get a victory here in front of the home crowd. Wow. Look at the mods. Maybe this look so authentic. This is why I love the PC. You hear this music? It's nighttime. We're opening in the nighttime. It's really dark. But the fans are here. I don't know if you hear the music. I don't know if how loud the OBS is. I gotta change the settings for OBS because this is all new for this computer, all these recording settings and everything. But we start starting lineup today. We're gonna play a 4 2 3 1 off of anger. What is his name? He's not here. Well, he'll be looking to get a dub today. I recommend as any of these players. No, I do not. I don't know any of them. In fact, I don't even know any of my players. I don't know. I don't recognize Pichu Cuello. I do remember seeing him somewhere. But it'll be a big game today. A lot of real faces here thanks to the mods. And uh, let's see how Ligonez does it's as Arsene Wenger's opening game begins. We're playing on Superstar, I think. Hopefully, I don't know if I changed it or not because I was I was playing on top play because I want to see how how this looked when I recorded. I was trying to see the goals. And obviously, this is Arsene Wenger's opening game, his first game since Arsenal. And uh, like MVP should be in the crowd looking at what he does. She believes the 71 year old the man to lead Arsenal to lead like this to glory. Sorry. Uh, so first effort goes wide. They're already implementing his tactics here. We'll see Arnaiz on the ball. Finds oh, the chance! Oh! And Rosales almost made it 1-0. Oh, dang it. 
good effort. Just want to skim the side of the goal. And I, and th that is true. There is a... What is it called? Um, a gameplay... I think there's a gameplay mod in this patch. I'll let you guys know exactly all the mods I use. I'll leave them in the description. I have a Ultimate Master League mod where it makes the player, the younger players grow faster. I also have the Virtual Red patch. That's what I'm using it all the same. This patch was like 200 gigabytes. It was huge. It took me like a couple of days to download it. And uh, there's some other small ones I'm going to let you guys know. Uh, I'll leave them in the description. And then you guys can get it yourself if you're playing on PC. I know the former Chelsea man. Oh, that, that is, this, that's the only player I recognize. I know Omaru or whatever his name is. I know he used to play for Chelsea back in the day. He was supposed to be like the Nigeria's next big defender. But, you know, I guess he's still pretty decent right now. But, I mean, it's knocking. It's a good header there. Well cleared. The keeper does an incredible job stopping that Zambua. Couldn't put that one away. And Akeem Sanchez hasn't been involved as much as he would like. The highly rated. He's touted to be. According to MVP, she's, he's touted to be the next the next Ozil. And the next Ziyech. Oh my god, that's not what I'm passing to. And the next Ziyech. And the good ball from Hakim Sanchez. Oh, and it's a wonderful save from the keeper. Oh, how did he stop that? I can't believe that should be 1-0. That should have been 1-0. He put a good ball in. He does. Whoa, man. There's a good run there from Boa. I think he's onside. Boa! 1 0. Look at the same music. Oh, 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 oh. And Boa puts it away. The left winger. He starts. Doesn't have a real face, but he scores, and Arsa Wenger will be ecstatic. As Leganes take the lead in the early minutes. What a pass there from La Fuente. The flying boa goes there, shot it, scored it, goal. And right before the half, Arsenal, like on this, does what they need to do. Get a goal. The side still leads. And the Arsenal Wenger will be happy on how his team is performing. Hopefully, they can maintain the sudden momentum in the second half. Here comes Hakim Sanchez. And Boa gets past the line! That's a good save! He's been our best player today, Boa. Got, got the goal for a reason. Had an effort that was shot wide. There's a corner. It's good football here. Marino finds Boa. And he's been a top class player today. Does well to find the space, and the shot is saved by the keeper. Oh, that would have been a belt of a finish if he scored that. So how lucky. Boa he plays the one two with that opponent, Hakim Sanchez. Ibanez! <laughs> Dang it. Abaceta has been absolutely horrible today. He one shot the whole game. Arsenal Vinas football is really out here to stay. Unless they do something here. No, they can't. We have 15 minutes left. Let's just hold this for. As well as we've been playing, we only want to look. Let's just try not to choke this. Luis Perez on the ball, flies with Ibanez, Hakim Sanchez, there's trying to play it in the air! Oh man, Fabinho, I'm gonna have to run and get that, my guy. Ruben Perez takes the shot from distance and he's deflecting to the goal, and Tomeo Nadal with the stop there. 85 minutes, it seems like Leganes will be getting their first three points this season. Favorites to get promoted, and rightly so. They have just a better team than everybody else, but the headers poor bad fight on the rule. And Gomez, the sub, has just been brought on. Oh no! Garcia! Oh, force him, force him back. Oh, and the defense all over the shop here. Gomez! No! Oh, are you serious? And Gomez scores a goal that I didn't want anything to happen. I'm kicking myself for that. How do I concede that, man? And Ibanez on the ball here. Oh, no! Oh, I can't believe I've missed that. And they've won the header. And Tanya's through on goal. And the wall is there to stop it. Oh, my God. I can't believe I blew that game. Conceding the 90th minute. They get a late goal in the second half. We got a late goal in the first half. The game ends 1-1. And they shouldn't have. 
we moved up. Alright, so I'm already seeing problems in this team. And the width, besides the board, the width isn't doing much. Um, the midfield's pretty stagnant. I might have to change some of them in the tactics. Um, the striker is not moving as I would like him to, so I don't think I'm going to make him the counter target anymore. At least I'll make him the counter target in the first half and make him more mobile the second half. So all the results that I go to, they won. Valicano won, Oviedo won, Palmas, Las Palmas won, Lugo won, Cartagena lost to Logroñez. It was a draw between Sporting Dijon and Sabadell. Girona, they beat Fran Labrada. Mirandes, they beat Mallorca. Wow, and Espanol beating Paul Ferradinha. So we also got to be careful with teams like Espanol and uh, Mallorca, two sides that were in the top division last season. Girona also has some decent players. And Lionel Messi has won the Euro Best Player Award, and he actually has the award, like the, the license award. Thank you, thank you, Pes. <laughs> Marcel Wenger drinking his coffee. And the Totti says though the match draw against Abacete Pompey was no mean feats. The reaction by the, for the press and the fans weren't bad either. Keep up the good work. I think that's the goal. We're not going to hold them. Arthur Venker drinking the coffee. That's an awfully hard call. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, oh, dang it, man. That sucks. I can't believe we couldn't win the last game. I think I just made his debut though. He's looking pretty promising. Didn't do a lot. Oh man, what else happened? Old Black is in the Champions League group of death. Alright, well that's it. We got a goal. We got a draw in the first game. Hopefully we win the next game in the Copa del Rey against... What team is that? I don't even know what team that is. But thank you guys for watching. You know, I've been trying to like get this thing sorted out for like the past couple weeks now. And I finally was able to do it. So thank you once again for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you haven't. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Also, drop your uh, ask whatever questions. And I'm going to leave the thing there. So drop the hashtag, ask your press conference questions to Arsene Wenger. Um, leave some objective ideas if you have any. And uh, I'll see you guys in episode two. Peace. Yeah.